Today, I'd like to talk about delirium again. Now, this is a uh, talk on delirium with a difference. I've been caring every day for the last few years. And delirium took over my life when a loved one had an emergency mission with uh, I thought a chest infection, but she had an acute change in behavior and personality and her thinking dropped off a cliff. This is called delirium. It is a medical emergency. I was told nothing about it when I was undergrad at Cambridge, nothing at all. And um, this is simply not on. Often it is a harbinger of a long-term cognitive impairment. That's what happened in her case. And it's called delirium. It's not rocket science. It should be referred to by name on the ward rounds. Ward rounds should be done such that the carer is present. If you have problems finding history or if you, if you can't get your head around the 4AT, pick up the phone. There is hopefully somebody who can give you a history of the sudden change in personality and behavior. We're not talking dementia, we're not talking weeks or months, we're talking hours. And I don't want to regurgitate distress to you. We know it's distressing. We know the electric chair is distressing. But I just want to say it's very stressful. Nobody refers to it by name. Nobody tells you how long it lasts. Nobody will tell you what the mechanism is. Imagine if you had a heart attack and nobody could tell you the chest pain was due to a blocked coronary artery. Even worse, they had no way of measuring what was happening to you. So if your chest pain resolved, your MI is over. Am I being heart attack? Well, we accept this for delirium. Weirdly enough, if your symptoms have resolved, your delirium must be over. Yet, this is clearly not true. If you have delirium, you have very bad outcomes. It could include a premature death. Now, we don't know much about it. In fact, I'm going to argue for this year's WDAD 2022 that the checklists are not very accurate and in fact have distorted our thinking away from what the symptoms really mean to the patients and carers. This is wrong. And as long as we continue with this naughty approach with DSM-5, big data clinical trials will get nowhere. So thanks for listening. Have a nice uh, year. Take care. Bye.